Boy, you know, if you try real hard, Mary Kay Kleist, you can smell the backyard grills cooking up in this dinner hour because oh. we really have a gem. Ooh. That sounds Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm there, Chris. <laughs> oh, you better do that this weekend because when you see the forecast for next weekend, uh, we go back to where we should be. So in the meantime, one more nice day Monday. Again, cooler by the lake, tons of sunshine, probably not 80s, but we'll see the middle 70s. Then we turn our attention to that severe storm threat on Tuesday. Once that front passes Wednesday, we are in store for chilly changes coming up late week into the weekend, below average temperatures, wind chills in the 30s and strong northwesterly winds at times. In the meantime, we're looking at waves of rain Tuesday into Wednesday, but right now and keep checking in with us because this could change. The severe timing on Tuesday looks to be between sunset and midnight all hazards are possible with this event as the storms roll in in the meantime smooth sailing now a little cool in waukegan and at the lakefront temperatures are falling because of the winds coming off that 48 degree lake but inland in joliet you're still holding at 83 it's 82 in kankakee so it's clear it's mild tonight 50 for our low sunshine dominates our weather picture tomorrow 75 away from the lake but as i mentioned with that breeze it'll be light though tomorrow we'll have mid 60s probably for the north shore also down into whiting 67 probably in hyde park but then 72 as you start heading into southern parts of cook county then we turn our attention to our storm chances they ramp up not only tuesday but wednesday as well models are slowing down the forward speed of this system and already the storm prediction center putting us under a level two storm risk that's a two on a scale of one to five an even higher risk out to the west of us because we will see these storms roll in look at the cluster here in the seven o'clock hour tuesday evening that's the sunset hour when we could see that severe threat it goes into the night as well through midnight and then damaging winds are possible along it but wednesday morning perhaps we could see another wave of rain with some gusty storms coming through as well so we're going to keep Keep an eye on Wednesday as well. So here's a tighter look. Tuesday morning, you're fine. I think as we go through the day, a scattered shower is possible. But during the sunset time frame, that's when we're really going to watch for some severe cells to be moving through. And then on Wednesday, if you wrap around gusty storms are certainly possible for us. So tornado is even possible, but it looks like wind damage, large hail will be the greatest threats for us. So let's enjoy tomorrow. It's quiet. But we put an alert tab on Tuesday, Chris just so everybody's aware that we could have active weather late in the day. So keep checking in with us. Mm -hmm. Model run by model run. We'll update that timing. Okay. Don't cry that it's over. Smile that it happened is how we should probably look at this really nice warmth. I think that's the I perspective. <laughs> Thanks, Mary Kay.